Yeah. Yes. Uh, first and foremost, it is great to be home. Amen. 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 Going out and visiting. Shall I talk to you? Uh, Sorry. Okay, <laughs> you gotta go you got time to tell me. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. That might be better. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. That's awesome. Appreciate it. But it is great to be back and a little sad by this church. It's Amen. nice to go visit other churches, but they're not home. Right. And God gave me a message yesterday in the funniest way. I've been chasing an old bull around the pasture for three hours. He looked the top of my head where I went through the trees. And at the end, after three hours, Gary's you know, riding around on his four wheelers. And on his last real lap around this hundred acre pasture, he said, God, I can't do this by myself. You're gonna have to help me get this bull in the bull walk right around the corner, walk right in the crowd, sit there at the gate till I back the trailer up. Sometimes it's how quick you ask God for help. Sometimes you think we can do it by ourselves. And then when I went home, I sat down, drinking a glass of tea and getting Rehydrated. The Western come on with one of my favorite actors, Ben Johnson. <coughs> and it was called Train Robbers. And when he was sitting there, he was talking to this woman about following this guy up all these hills in his life. Tonight I'm going to talk about following another man up a hill. Amen. But that stuck in my head. Because he kept saying there'll be a lot more hills I have to climb, follow this man up behind. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of hills we're going to have to follow this man up behind. Amen. That's right. We're going to read out of the book of St. Mark, the 15th chapter. This is where the cru they're taking him up to crucify him. And at this point, they have beat him, mocked him, done everything they could to him. And in the 21st verse, and they compelled one, Simon, a Cyrene who passed by, coming out of, a, coming out of the country, the father of Alexandria, Alexander and Rufus to bear his cross. And they bring him into a place, Golgotha, which is being interpreted, interpreted the place of a skull. You may be seen. I'll tell you what, each and every one of us will go through things in our lives that we don't understand. Amen. God's going to take us up some hills that we don't understand in our lives. Amen. Amen. Some things we're going to have to go through in our lives we don't understand. But what we got to understand when all when he had compelled Simon to pick up that old cross and follow him. Amen. Follow him up that old hill. I tell you what, tonight, no matter what you're going through tonight, I can pay you to pick up your cross and keep following you. Right. Yep. I tell you what, sometimes we lose sight on what we're doing. Sometimes it's like old Gary out there on that old four-wheeler running around like he's 18 years old, jumping ditches and going through creeks and everything else. On that old four-wheeler thinking he could do it by himself. But I tell you what, I can't do it by myself. It's just like getting up here behind the pulpit. I can't do it by myself. Right. I'm not the man yeah. that is good enough to be up here behind the pulpit. But through Jesus Christ and falling him up an old hill and him dying and giving his life upon that hill for me. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, I'm able to get up because I've been there, I've answered the call to follow Him. Amen. Take up my cross and follow Him. I tell you what, tonight, each and every one of us, no matter what's going on in our lives, we need to just keep on picking up our cross and following Him up that hill. Sometimes when we go through things we don't understand, we got to stop and get us out of the way and say, God, I'm going to follow You. Amen. You got a greater plan than what I've got. You got something greater <laughs> for me than what anything I can do. And I tell you what, I, I, I heard a little deal about this scripture that I had never heard and had never thought about before. But do you ever notice in the verse 22 where it says, 
and they bring him up to a place called Golgotha that is interpreted the place of the skull. You know why that is interpreted that way? Because if you look back over to when David slew Goliath, where did David take Goliath? Took him back to Jerusalem. And when he took him back to Jerusalem, the scholars believe that he took him out there on that hill. And they took that skull and they put it up on a post for everybody to see. Mm. I tell you what, that's a foretaste of God. Did he come to conquer the giants for us? Amen. Amen. You notice how it's called Golgotha, Goliath. If you translate it out, that means Goliath. Amen. And I tell you what, you stop and look at that old hill. And our Savior went up, he went up on a hill where David had took Goliath and where David had slew the giants. And I'll tell you what, and it was a sign to the Philistines that they had won that battle. And I'll tell you what, tonight when we look at that hill today and we see our Lamb of God that went up on that hill and we followed up on that old Amen. hill. He slew Amen. the devil that day and he, took the, he conquered hell, death, and the grave Amen. We up there on that hill. I tell you what, it's something to look at. I'll tell you what, when you look at it back in the Bible and you see what all these things, it's no coincidence that God, God had David take that old skull and put it up on that hill. And I tell you what, tonight we're going to have to climb some hills, some mighty hills in our life. And we're going to have to go through some things and we're going to have to do some things. I tell you what, I've had some things, had, had my feet knocked out of me more than once as a Christian. And things in there, and I thought I could go no farther. But I, sometimes we have to pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off. Amen. Say, I'm going to go back up that hill. I'm going to follow behind Jesus. Amen. I'm going to pick up my cross and I'm going to keep following him to the end. Amen. I tell you what, tonight we've got to get serious about following Jesus. Amen. I tell you what, he's already conquered the giants for us. He's already conquered that death, hell, and the grave. And as we had that little funeral today, the memorial service for that little baby, I tell you what, he's like... Shane said that she never felt no death, no sting. But I tell you what, she's, God's got to pick us up and he's going to take us on up the hill. And he's Amen. got her up there waiting for us. And I tell you what, tonight, no matter why we question what God's done, we just need to pick up our cross and say, God, I'm, I'm going to just keep yeah. on following you. I'm going to keep in the fight. Amen. I'm not going to give Amen. up. Amen. I tell you what, I've had some times, you know, down there one Sunday evening when I was preaching at that other church, everybody in the deal was at with tears in her eyes. And the pastor, he kind of called me out on some things that I'd said in the deal. Said, I talk too much about myself. But sometimes when I'm talking about myself, it's what God did for me. Amen. And I think, Lord, I'm glad to be in a place where people are willing to listen. The story's about a Gary. Yes. He told me there at the end of the message, he said, nobody care, really cares about Gary. Wow. And I broke me. Yeah. Yeah. And I got to the point of, you know, almost me down enough to want to give up. And I said, no, God, I'm going to pick up my cross and I'm going to keep on going. Amen. Amen. And the, right. next, the, the next thing I knew when I got up there that next Sunday, but what was funny, everybody in that church that night except him and his wife, the tears rolling down their face. God was moving, but it wasn't moving with him. Mm. But I tell you what, tonight, I told God, I said, no matter what goes on, no matter how bad I get beat up, and if people don't like what I got to say, I'm going to keep on going. Amen. Amen. I'm going to keep climbing those hills. And if I have to tell you a story once in a while or two about me, I'll tell you a story about me. And it's about how Amen. God has done something for me in my life. I see God moving with me and my son and my family. Amen. I've had more conversations. My son's actually called my wife. I tell you what, that's us carrying our cross and not giving up. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord, it's starting to answer some prayers. Right. One of these days, I feel like my son will be back in church with me somewhere. But I'm just going to keep on climbing that hill and following my Savior. Amen. Amen. Because he's got a job for me to do. And I tell you what, I tell you what, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep climbing and climbing. Amen. Amen. going to take me to do some valleys and some hard times. But we're going to start up another hill. You know, you look at old Elijah when he went up there on the mountain there to dry. You know, sometimes we go through droughts in our spiritual life. Sometimes we need to get up there on that old mountain and get up there and start praying for a move of God. Amen. And look out there for a cloud the size of a man's hand. I Amen. tell you what, he had to climb a hill. He had to follow God up that hill. Moses had to follow God up a hill to get some commandments. I'll tell you why you start looking through this old book and all the men that had to go up some hills. Amen. I'll tell you what, tonight we need to be willing to go up some hills. Amen. Say, I'm willing to follow you to the end, Jesus. 
Amen. I'm willing to stick with you no matter what's going on, Amen. no matter what's tearing me down. I'll tell you what, sometimes we just got to keep keeping on and going on, Amen. picking up that old cross. Sometimes that old cross is going to get heavy. Some people are going to mock you. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to tear you down. But I'll tell you what, that's the devil using that person trying Amen. to tear you down. But when they try to tear you down, you can pick up your old cross and say, Lord, you took the old cat of nine tails for me. Amen. I can take a little walking and I can take a little people making fun of me. Amen. I can keep on walking up this hill and I'm going to keep following you. Amen. I'll tell you what tonight, no matter where you're at, no matter how low you get in your life, you got to say, God, I'm going to keep on keeping on. I'm going to keep following you up a hill. Amen. I'll tell you what tonight, we need some men and women of God that are willing to follow God up a hill, but sometimes we need to make an old stop down in an old wooden bench down at the front of a little old church Amen. and get down there and get serious with God and say, God, I need, need you to strengthen my walk. I need you to lighten my load and help me get up this hill. Lord, when I can't carry my cross by myself, you might send an old Simon to come over and help Amen. me carry my Amen. cross. Amen. When he's talking about an old Simon to carry your cross, that's your brother and sister Amen. in Christ. Amen. I tell you what, sometimes whenever somebody's the old cross gets heavy and it gets hard to carry, it doesn't hurt to go over there and lift them up and wrap Amen. your arms around them. Amen. Tell them you love them. Tell Amen. them that you care for them. Amen. No matter what they're going through, Amen. it's not too great that we can't go through it together. Amen. We can't stick together as a family. No matter what's said or what's done, we need to stick together with one another. We need to be like old time and be willing to pick up the Father's cross help carry them to the end. I'll tell you Amen. what. Amen. Now we need some men and women of God to start gathering around and carrying each other along. Each and every one of us has got things going on in our life that tears us down. But I tell you what tonight, just go back to the Father and say, Father, help me just keep keeping on. Amen. Don't let it tear me down. Don't let it destroy my Christian walk. I tell you what, sometimes we have our kids and we have our family that will tear us down more than anything. And I tell you what, tonight it's time to say, God, I'm going to keep carrying my cross. I know you've got this. What's funny, my father, when he was up there preaching as a young man, somebody asked him about his kids. He had a son that was an alcoholic. And he had kids, none of his kids, half his kids wasn't in church. Half of them wasn't living the life they needed to live. And they asked him, what about your kids? He said, I'm going to keep doing my job. God's God. Amen. Amen. God's going to send the right person to talk to that. Amen. I would say every one of us was in church today. Amen. That says something out of six kids. Amen. One of them don't go to a good church. But, you know, hey, he was at a, I guess you'd call it a church. <laughs> He'll get his mind right. God will take care of him. Amen. Because he was raised different than what Amen. the church is. Yeah. He may not Amen. speak to me like he used to. <laughs> But I keep praying for him. Amen. I keep trying to help take his cross up and get him back on the right track. Amen. I'm willing to tell him when he's wrong. Amen. Even though I know when I tell somebody that they're wrong, that they may get mad at me and not speak to me for a while. But I tell you what, i got to pick up that cross. i tell you what, i got a man that went up on an old hill and he died for an old center boy Amen. like me. Amen. He went up there and he gave his life for me. And i tell you what. I don't know about you, but I'm not the same guy I was at one time. Amen, Amen brother. I'm not the same person I was. Yeah. I tell you Amen. what, tonight, I'm not the same man. I'm not the same Preach man it. I used to be. Glad glad better you sing about that song about not being the same man and saying he can't want to come home. And his kids was hiding behind the couch and behind the chairs. He said, children, I'm not the same man I once was. Amen. I'm a different man once I found the Savior. Amen. Once God come in my life, I'm a different person tonight. Amen. I tell you what, I'm a different individual. Amen. I used to be a kind of a rough young man. But I tell you what, oh, the Lord softened my old heart. He's made me a lot different. The more I follow Christ, the more, I, more I get in touch with Jesus. I tell you what, it feels good to be back in that in this house tonight. Amen. I can feel the Spirit of God coming Amen. down. And it feels good to be tonight. Amen. Sometimes, I tell you what, I've been a little drunk down after going out. And I know I've got some other churches I'm going to have to eventually go preach at. But I tell you what, I'm going to keep going there. And go when God sends me, I'll go up those hills. But I always know that I've got a home right here. Amen. Little Amen. Baptist. Amen. I've got a fair church family that Amen. loves me. And I tell you what, I've got a good pastor here. A good Amen. pastor's wife. 
I tell you what, but they're willing to try to lead the church. They're willing to try to lead, help lead us up those hills. We've got to go up and treat, give us the word of God the way it needs to be preached. Amen. And I tell you what, you need to, it doesn't hurt to come down to no altar sometimes and thank God for the church, for the leader of the church that he's given us. I tell you what, there's a lot of churches Amen. that don't have a good pastor. Amen. A lot of churches out there today are dying and going downhill fast. And there's a lot of them in 10 years from now won't even have the doors open. I tell you what, today, if the Lord don't come back, there'll be a lot of churches that are not going to be around anymore because they don't have the right pastors and the right leaders in their church. You need to give thanks for those that, when you do have a good one. Amen. you got to be willing to follow them up the hill and say, God, I'm there to support them. I'm there to lift them up because we're all in a battle together, you know, and they talk about going up these hills, you know, when they during the different wars, they talk about all these hills. There's like Hamburger Hill and Bloody Ridge and all these different things. These men went up there to fight for a cause. And some of them lost their life along the way. Yeah. I tell you what, this same thing in your Christian walk. There's going to be Christians that are walking there along beside you. They're going to fall by the wayside. Some of them are going to die and go on over to the other side. But I tell you what, you got to just keep on keeping on. Keep climbing that hill, Amen. no matter how tough it gets, no matter how hard the journey gets. You've got to be willing to keep climbing up that hill to God. Thank you for letting me climb this hill. Amen. Thank you for putting this in my way. I'll tell you what, it's easy to walk across flat ground. But I'll tell you what, we go up there and deer hunt this place, and them old hills are just as steep and then as sharp to climb. I'll tell you what, they're hard to climb to the top. But I'll tell you what, when you get to the top, you appreciate that hill. Amen. I tell you what, when you get up to the top of the place I could be in, I took Charlie up there. I had to take him a long way around to get him up there. When you get up there at the top, he just drops straight off just like that all the way to the bottom. Because the bottom is flat for 10 miles. It's one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen. I'll go up there about every year. i go up there just to see the view. It's higher up in the arch, isn't it? Huh? It's higher up in the arch, isn't it? It's higher up than the arch, that hill is. And you can see for miles. And from that hill, you can see all the way to Nebraska. It's a beautiful view, all these cornfields. And all this hill, the view from the top, great. But sometimes we've got to come off the top of that mountain. Yeah. And we've got to go back down to the valley and climb up the mountain. Sometimes we think we can take the easy way around. That's why I took Charlie the first time, but uh, the true way to get up there, the short way, is straight up. I'm not the man I used to be. I don't know that I could climb straight up that hill anymore. So I try to take the easiest path as I can get, and it still ain't easy. By the time I get there, I've lost my breath a few times. I'll have to stop on the side of the hill and catch my breath. Sometimes we have to stop and catch our breath and thank God for what He's done for us. Amen. Thank God for the hill ahead of us, thank God. Amen. I thank you for putting that hill in my way. Yep. You know, Amen. I'm all alone. So I mean, I'll get to hurt and I'll get tired. I'll think, why are you doing this? But I tell you what, when you get to the top of that mountain, when you get up on top of that on the hill, and you look out at God and you, I tell you what, I give you something to shout about. You know, I sat up there on that old hill by myself, tears running down my face, thanking God for taking me to the top of the mountain. You know, sometimes we get in spiritual mountains, but we have to go through some spiritual valleys too. Because when you get up on top of that mountain, the grass, the stuff don't grow. I've been out in the Rocky Mountains, and I've sat up on top of the mountains, 12,000 feet up there where there ain't much growth. And you look down over everything that's growing. Sometimes you got to get back down in the valley to go. And I'll tell you what, when it takes you through the valley, it's just hard. Amen. But I'm telling you, when you're in that valley, you reach down, you grab a hold of that old cross, put it back on your shoulder, you say, God, I'm not giving up. Amen. Amen. I'm going to walk on up that old mountain, I'm going to climb that hill. There's no hill too high to climb when you're working for Jesus. Amen. Amen. There's no valley too low that he can't reach down and he can't just reach down and grab a hold of you and lift you up and pull you up. Amen. Sometimes when you're down in that old valley, if you're this lady, you can feel him wrap his arms around you. I've been down in them old valleys where I was low and I was hurt and I was crying and I was sad. And I felt like there had no purpose to go on. But when I was in my lowest states, 
sometimes Jesus would just reach down there and he'd put his arms around us. And when I thought there was no comfort to be found, he was there to comfort me. Amen. Amen. And there was times when I didn't think I could go another step. <coughs> I could not go on any farther. He picked me up and carried me in a way that I couldn't walk. Amen. Sometimes we got to let him carry us. Amen. He'll get us to our next mountain and we're going to climb that next mountain. He's killed the giants and got them out of our way. He's already fought a lot of the battles that we got to face. Sometimes we think we got battles up ahead of us. But I'm here tonight to tell you, God's already got our battles. He's already Amen. got a fight. All we got to do is pick up our cross and get behind him. Amen. And he'll kind of take care of all everything that's in our way. Amen. Sometimes we may stumble, we may fall. But we just got to keep climbing on and on. Amen. Amen. I hope this has encouraged you tonight. Amen. Amen. Because I'll tell you what tonight. We can't give up. We got a revival coming up. Mm -hmm. You know, I got to drive by the Niagara Church Camp once we was going down there to that church. Kind of goes, that's where we're going to church camp. Bad thing was, we was going the wrong way. When you turned to go to the church camp, I should have turned and went that way. But luckily, they had a sign on that road so I could find where I was going. About got lost. About late. Hey, God got me there. Because I had God as a co-pilot. Yep. He made sure they put a sign at the other end of the road, otherwise it's going to come where we ended up. But I'm here tonight to tell you, we got some things coming up. Yep. We need to pick up our crosses. We need to thank God tonight for the battles we're going through. The things where the old devil's trying to knock this church down and say, Devil, you're not going to win. We're picking up our cross. And we're going to stay behind Jesus. Amen. And we're going to Amen. follow him to the end. Yeah. Amen. He's going to whip you once and he'll whip you again. That's right. He ain't going to, I'm not going to give up on my leader. I'll tell you what, I'm going to follow him to the end. Amen. I'm going to follow him until he calls me home. Amen. Whether it's by the grave or it's by the rapture. I don't know. I don't care. All I'm doing know is I'm looking forward to getting there. Amen. I've got Amen. a mom Amen. and a daddy and a grandpa and a grandma and Several others up there, aunts and uncles, that I would like to see. Amen. A lot of family Amen. and a lot of friends Amen. that are there. And I'm looking forward to going to that place. I'm not in no hurry. I'd like God to leave me down here and let me do a little bit of work. And I'd like him to let him let, for him to let me see my son get back to church. Amen. I'm going to keep fighting and I'm going to keep following. No matter how rough the road gets, how many times he is, the old devil tries to kick my feet out from under me. The funny thing is, when he kicks his feet, he kicks your feet out from under me. You know what that means? He's getting you down on your knees where you need to be. Amen. That's where you do your best fighting. Amen. I tell you what, when he gets you, your feet get kicked out from under you, get down on your knees. I tell you what, God can put a fight back in you. Amen. He can put a fight in you where there ain't no fight left. I tell you what, sometimes we gotta get our knee our feet back under us and get her get down on our knees and say, God, I'm ready to pick up this whole cross. I'm ready to follow you up the next day. Up to the next mile. Uh, whatever you got me to do, wherever you take me, I'll go. Amen. I tell you what, now we gotta be willing to go when God calls. Yep. And I tell you what, there's gonna be times that God's gonna call people to go to places and visit and do things. We gotta be there and support them. Amen. The nice thing is when we get to come back home. Amen. I'll tell you what. I love this place. Amen. Amen. I went back the next week. I got to tell them. I said, I got to go to our church twice last week. Kathy got a text about it. Need to come over and pray and pray with the sister. She said, come on, drive me over there. Well, I ain't up being the only guy here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I got to come to the church. Yeah. Right. Then I got to come Wednesday night. And I was able to go back to another church and said, you know what? I got to go to my church twice this week. I got to brag about it. Amen. I got to tell them how God had been moving in the church. And I got to tell them about how Cindy and Sean and their whole family got saved on a Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. That's the old church. I haven't seen nobody saved in a long time. I said, I'm here to tell you people. 
the people can still be saved in the preaching of the old King James Bible. That's right. Amen. Don't kid Amen. yourself. Amen. There's people out there that's hungry today. Amen. I told that church, I said, you got to get serious. And I said, you got to get back in prayer. I preached hard on prayer the last Sunday I was there. And I tell you what, some of the old saints of God came up to me and they said, that's what I needed. Amen. I needed that message this morning. I got on and I said, guys, until you start using your altar again, I only have two people that ever use the altar there. My brother and the pastor. I tell you what, I thank God for a church that's willing to come down to use the altar. Amen. I thank God for being in a church where people are not afraid to come down and lay it all on the line and say, God, here I laid at your feet. I laid at your feet tonight, Lord. And you're going to take care of it. And I'll tell you what, sometimes when we lay stuff at God's feet, when we have animosity and stuff towards other people and things that are going wrong, we need to take it down to Jesus' feet, Amen. lay it there, and leave it there. Amen. Amen. No matter what's going on, in our lives we need to take it down. If something's tearing us down, take it down to an old altar and say, God, I believe it here at your feet. Amen. I'm here to do your, fun, do your business tonight. And that's all that matters. Amen. Amen. I'm going to follow you to the end. Amen. I've come too far to look back now. Amen. Yep. I'm going to keep on going. If we can have a song of invitation, I think I'm about down. I think my lungs are about as far as we go. Pray for your pastor, pray for the revival coming up, and pray for those that are hurting in the church and lift them up. Pray for those that are lost and dying and going to the devil's hell. Take 
exchange it someday for a crown to the old rugged cross I will ever be true its shame and reproach gladly bear then he'll call me someday to my home Trophies are left I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown.